Good morning, everyone. Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. It is Monday, Monday, Monday. I'm super pumped to get as much done as possible this week. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to the last eBay vlog video. Uh, I really appreciate all your comments and likes and things like that. It really keeps me going. And uh, I think I'm trying to add some value to uh, the channel. So hopefully you enjoy what I'm doing and following the journey and everything. But it is, it is Monday. It is Monday, which also means uh, we have a new goal board this week so all this stuff is gonna go away we didn't quite get to the organization of everything so that's gonna be one of our goals so we're gonna actually gonna start fresh with a new week all right so here is the goal board for this week the week of May 20th through the 21st so our long-term goals are gonna be to visit a shop we might visit Toluca Lake at some point this week or if not, we'll visit another shop. Also to organize the inventory, which is a carryover from last week. Uh, the back is looking kind of crazy and I wanna get that organized now before things get a little crazier for the summer. Uh, our short wins is 10 listings a day. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We'll check that box off as we get that done. Uh, and also as a friendly reminder, Wednesday, um, May 22nd on the prime time uh, channel, uh, we're going to be doing an interview, so I'll leave a link to his channel below this week and just let you guys know uh, what that's all about. So definitely stay tuned for that, and I'm super excited to get this week done, and uh, let's do it. So Monday usually means shipping everything from the weekend, so uh, we have a few things to ship, and we're going to go over all that stuff right now. All right, here are some of the items that sold. We sold this mother-daughter watch right here. That sold for a total of $11.57. We also have this postcard that sold for $8.98. And these Gucci ostrich shoes heels uh, that sold for a total of $113.99. Also this Quacker factory jean jacket that sold for a total of $50. 59.50. All right, so this is how we're gonna ship the jacket. Now we could just stuff this in a flat rate uh, padded envelope, but they did pay $13.99 and this is a nice jacket. So we're gonna ship it uh, medium priority mail and we'll put that in there. We'll wrap it with some bubble right here. We'll also put some dunnage on the top just so they won't slice right through it and potentially slice the jacket that happens uh, every once in a while. So you can either put some extra stuff on the bottom or the top or put a little thin piece of cardboard along this edge right here just in case they slice. I also will write do not slice on the top. It's a little extra effort, but it does help and cut down from people slicing into the clothing, which does happen from time to time. Let's get these items shipped in one, two. All right, so this is what's on tap for the day as far as listings. We're gonna have some sealed DVD box sets. Uh, we get in DVDs actually a, a couple times a week and it's kind of cool to see uh, some sealed stuff. These are usually pretty easy to list. Uh, I have a scanner and you just scan the back and populate the listing and then just change the title around for uh, keywords and everything. Also, we have this cabinet card, uh, which is pretty interesting. I'll have to do a little bit more research on this and uh, it has a name on the back, Hillard. So uh, I'm not sure if that's anything to do with anything, but uh, we have our listing set. Now we're gonna get to listing to get our listing goals completed today. Uh, also, these dioramas came in and hopefully uh, today's video will be able to get through that and show you some of that. All right, so the DVDs are all listed. I've put them in this box temporarily till we get an official uh, DVD kind of container, which uh, should be the organization, should be uh, sometime this week. We'll, we'll kind of find a, a permanent place for all the DVDs. Uh, but with that, that marks us our 10 listings today. So our short-term goal uh, has been made as uh, now it's time to go through some other things. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I'll show you guys this right now as I unpack this to show you what this is. All right, so what was in those boxes was two highly detailed dioramas. And for those that don't know what a diorama is, it's basically like a miniature kind of model play set where it's, everything's pretty much miniarized. It's almost like a set. Uh, but miniaturized and uh, this one happens to come from France it looks like from a Patrick Richard uh, this one happens to look actually spotless and perfect uh, this one actually has some issues there's some loose items in there you can see some of the paint 
has actually came apart from some of the things. Uh, shipping this is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to say that right now. Uh, whoever gets this is probably going to have this thing busted in, the, in a million pieces. So uh, I'm gonna actually going to try to figure out a way maybe to like keep this off eBay, sell this locally somehow. Uh, but give the store the credit because, uh, like I said, shipping this thing is, it's not its not going to end up where it's supposed to be in one piece. A lot of this stuff is coming loose already. As we can see, that little wheel that's back there. And this is very cool though. Like I used to be into hobbies like this. I, I ran a hobby shop uh, in 2001 through 2003 that dealt with die cast cars. And this is absolutely amazing detail. Uh, with these specific things so I have to do a little bit of research like I said I don't want to ship these uh, like I said because wherever it's gonna go it's not gonna make it in one piece uh, you know the glue is gonna come apart uh, all it takes is one UPS guy or USPS guy to just drop a box and like something like this car will just come loose and, and just it'll be a nightmare and uh, from what I've noticed you can't get into it it's sealed so you you couldn't even like go open it open up the back and, and fix everything that needs to be fixed so uh, this is gonna be uh, a little bit of an issue let me know what you think in the comments below if this is something that you would even try to ship or this is, should be just something that should be uh, sold locally all right so the model making spirit in me got the top off just to see if I can clean the glass uh, now what's nice is that I can actually uh, glue all the pieces back together and put this thing back together. Uh, that's what's awesome about you know, thinking outside of the box and in life experience. I, I'm, I've been a model maker in the past, so I can totally clean this thing up now. Uh, now I'm still having a thing. I'm not gonna. I don't really want to ship this anywhere. Uh, this is something that's going to be have to be sold locally. I'm afraid that you know this piece is perfect. This piece I got up, and I'll have to do some modifications. There it looks like there was a little bit of. Uh, uh, some inserts here that I'll need to be replaced and uh, once I clean the glass up and get all the paint because what happens is uh, they did some weathering here in the wheel well as you can see this this mud and that stuff is what chipped off as you can see here that got on the glass so we'll have to uh, replace this part with some glue this thing will have to be just redone and uh, it's kind of funny that you know I have a background in this so this will be something that'll look absolutely amazing once it's finished so that was quick. We sold one of those DVDs already. Uh, the price actually we got was higher than what uh, they were selling for. So that's pretty nice. This was a quick sale. So we'll ship this off uh, first thing in the morning. So already having a good sale uh, so far with the DVDs. And like I said, there's still money in DVDs. Uh, not too much as there was before. And uh, I should actually probably make a DVD video uh, for sure. If you want to see a DVD video, leave a comment below. Let me know that you want to see a DVD video and I can do a proper uh, DVD video of what to look for and stuff like that because there's a few things that uh, you might not know about to, to what to look out for but for the most part 90% of DVDs are junk so the real real sales are looking good we got 1800 so far this month as we can see here we sold two uh, higher-end Laurel Piana items here a poncho and a dress uh, $325 365 with a commission of 227 257 uh, we did have some shipments that have been received uh, we're still waiting on some of those things to come in and pop it populate uh, the inventory here there's a handful of the opening ceremony stuff that has come in so uh, we're continuing to monitor that and so uh, the real real is actually looking pretty good today all right everyone so that's going to do it this is chris the thrift shop hustler we got through our goals today and uh, we did actually do some uh, organization uh, stuff that you didn't quite see on film but we're, we're getting that started and uh, like i said we did get through our goals today uh, looking forward till tomorrow we have some new stuff that came in and i'll go over all that stuff uh, we had the diorama which was pretty cool and some other things that came in and maybe I'll do a video on that tomorrow. Um, the real, real sales are looking really good. And like I said, there's a lot of things that you guys don't see uh, that happens day to day, especially going through, going through things, researching things and listing things. And so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a pretty exhausting day and, uh, I'm Chris, the shop hustler. If you enjoyed this video, definitely go down there and click the like button and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.